Gene Vincent's Last Show by Dave Alvin. It was old as night at the Hollywood Palladium, 1970-something. And the backup band vamped Bebop, Balula, Art LeBeau introduced Gene Vincent, and the crowd cheered as Gene walked on the stage, limping on his lame leg. I was 14, and that night had already seen the standard L.A. oldies acts. Bobby, Mr. Rockin' Robin Day, Sandy Teen Beat Nelson, the Olympics singing Western movies, Rosie breaking old hearts with Angel Baby, and, and they were all fine. But this was Gene Vincent. This was special. He was sweating in his leathers under the hot lights, mumbling his words, trying to sing low, sexy, and young. Sing, man, sing like he could still put cigarettes out on Johnny Burnett's arm. Sing like he could before booze and obscurity. Sing like he could before he held Eddie Cochran dead in his arms. But he couldn't. It wasn't there. After a few bars, he quit singing. But he motioned for the band to continue. A woman and three kids joined him on stage. She put her arm around Jean, and the kids stood around his lame leg. I couldn't tell if he was crying or if it was the hot light sweat. As he said... I've had a lot of hard times. Thanks to the love of my family, my hard times are in the past. The crowd cheered, and I'm ready to rock again. And the crowd screamed, Welcome back, Gene! As Gene and his family left the stage, Gene Vincent died a month later. Years later, rocking Ronnie Weiser told me the woman and the kids were fake. Someone hired them for the night because Gene's real wife had divorced him and taken the kids months before the last show.